Hi, welcome again to five minute Revit today. Tips and tricks is about how to create groups. I have this model in here open. And in order to create a group, you first need to select the element that you want to group. Now I have this element selected. I go to the filter. Now I don't want a columns. I don't want to separate rooms. I don't want a rooms. And now I don't want a room tag. And now I have this element that I want to group inside my uh, group model group and also data group okay now the group now i can go to create and okay now i have my group already created now and i want to place it i just come in here into project browser and drag it in here and place it now i have my group already uh, created now if i want to attach the uh, the uh, data groups because when you create group and you have element that already tagged or they mentioned you selected that you select that and you group all the elements you will have two kind of groups one uh, model group and another one is data group now if i want to place this element again just right click create similar and place it like that now if i select both the groups and I attach details. I have this detail already uh, uh, available for me. I can go attach now. I have this element attached. And if you want to change one group like that, edit group. Now, if I delete this door in here, just for the purpose of this exercise, finish now. And I have this change populate to both groups. I can have hundreds of these groups and you can make one change and that change will be in all of the groups. In the future, we will have many tips and tricks about groups, but for now, we know how to create a groups. It's easy, just select the elements, go to create and create both model groups and data groups. I hope this video helped you to understand how to create groups.